kissing on the mouth after oral sex, is it okay? You ask me sex questions and I am here to deliver sex answers. This question came from a dear friend, is it okay to kiss after oral sex? So let's delve right into it. Before we kiss though, I have a huge favor to ask. If this is the first time you are seeing me, I hope you find my content worth your subscription. I am on a quest to form a worldwide movement of sex positive people to have open and honest conversations about all things sexual without shame. Sex is natural and normal. And my mission is to empower you with the information you need to design and live the sex life you envision and deserve. I need you to continue on. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that notifications button. You may also join memberships so you can get more out of your experience on my channel. I hope I can see you around as a loyal subscriber and member. Thanks. Now back to kissing after oral sex. There's a lot of reasons why people engage in oral sex, although not everyone is a fan. If you enjoy oral sex or are curious about how to start or do it right, leave your questions and comments below. When we talk about oral sex, usually we're talking about fellatio and cunnilingus. Fellatio or fellatio is using the mouth to stimulate and provide pleasure to the penis, and cunnilingus is using the mouth to stimulate and provide pleasure to the vulva. This pleasure can be done as part of foreplay or can be the whole act and can culminate in an orgasm, ejaculation, or both, although sheer pleasure for both giver and receiver should always be the goal. Remember that good oral sex is one that is enjoyed by both partners, but more on that in a future video. Many people find oral sex not only exceptionally delicious, but also very intimate and erotic. The trust, vulnerability, and self and sexual confidence that you need in order to go down on someone cannot be understated. And to guide someone through receiving oral pleasure and asking and accepting guidance while providing oral pleasure are among the most erotic experiences that can connect people during a sexual experience. For many, tasting the sexual fluids of another person and experiencing how these fluids become more abundant as the arousal increases is very sexy. Knowing that you're able to share that experience of pure ecstasy and pleasure can be powerful in helping build bonds between sexual partners. Going from genital to mouth after oral sex can have a higher dimension of intimacy and closeness, although it is not for everyone. If you are among the ones who does not consider oral sex in general to be appealing or who would co never consider kissing someone after you have had your mouth in their genitals, or you would not want to be kissed after your partner has been providing you with oral sex, that is totally okay. No need to dismiss the practice as something perverse or dirty though. But for those who like it, love it, or would like to try it, here is my best advice to make the experience more enjoyable. Please communicate with your partner, preferably beforehand. If you want to exchange fluids from genital to mouth, say so. If you oppose, say so. If you have not gotten consent from your partner and you would like to go from genitals to mouth, you may be surprised by their reaction. Some people may not like the idea of kissing someone with semen or vaginal fluid in their mouth and their reaction may not be positive if you try to sneak a kiss on them after oral sex. Know your partner's boundaries. Some people may like the idea of kissing after oral sex if there is no semen in the mouth, for instance. Some others may want a full exchange of semen or vaginal fluid after they have collected it in their mouths. Know your partner's limits and respect them. Obviously, make sure that your hygiene is pristine or that you know what your partner's preferences are in this regard. Some people have high tolerance levels for anything during sex and may like more natural smells than others. But remember, no need for surgical cleanings. In matters of the genitals, water and soap, gentle soap for the penis is enough, pulling back the foreskin to clean underneath is essential if uncircumcised penises, and water is enough for the inside of the vulva, although you may use a mild soap for the outside and between the legs. 
Below, I am leaving you with the links of some videos that I have posted on how to clean the vulva and the penis properly. And last but not least, know your health status and share results when it comes to STIs and other health conditions that affect the genitals. This will give people more confidence and help them relax and enjoy the act. In summary, yes, kissing after oral sex and exchanging sexual fluids from genital to mouth may be okay depending on your tolerance level, health status, and your sexual preferences. Do you like kissing after oral sex? Leave your comments below. This is Dr. Tanji, the sex doctor. See you next time.